cats taking over the school? A long, long, long time ago, schools were built, and they were really popular nowadays. Children go there to learn their ABCs, their 1-2-3s, reading, writing, history, geography, math equations, and so much more, until they get their education and have fabulous new careers in life, like taking care of pets from the animal shelter, including cats and dogs. Of course, pets are not allowed to be in school because... It's a pet-free policy. But one day, something terrible happened. A sneaky orange cat named Montana escaped from the animal shelter and walked around. The guards from the animal shelter did not realize they forgot to lock the door for maximum security, so they pressed the alarm button. The alarm went off, and the lights were flashing all over the building. One of the guards yelled, Calling all visitors! Calling all visitors! We have an escaped cat on the loose. It's an orange cat, and his name is Montana. He appears to be wandering around town. Whoever finds him, report him back to me at once. That is all. Off they went. Meanwhile, Montana is at school. Montana peeked through the window and discovered something on the whiteboard. It was a picture of a cat. And Montana is a cat. Hmm, he thought. What if I could be part of this class? I'm sure all the children would appreciate me more than the visitors from the animal shelter. Montana sneaked inside and hid in one of the chairs that one of the children is sitting on. Now, class, announced the teacher, today we're going to learn about cats. Cats are... Just then, Montana made some cat noises. that? The teacher asked. It sounded cute, but I heard a disruption. A child raised her hand. Miss Carrie? Yes, Sheila? Shall I look under the chair and find out what's going on? Okay, but make it quick, please, replied Miss Carrie. Sheila looked under one of the chairs, and there was Montana, the oh. orange cat. screamed Sheila. Hello, said Montana. I'm here for a lesson about cats. Sheila screamed again. What was that? Miss Carrie was worried. Why were you screaming, Sheila? I was screaming, cried Sheila, because an orange cat sneaked in nine class. What? A real life tiny cat at school? Screamed Miss Carrie. All of the other children screamed too. We cannot have a pet cat in the school. Explained Miss Carrie. Sound the alarm. And the school alarm went off in this room. Then Miss Carrie approached Montana. And as for you, kitty cat. My name is Montana. Montana? There's only one place for pets like you to live in. Animal detention. And you'll never escape and take over the entire school. Miss Carrie said sternly. Now, come on. You're coming with me. Then she turned to Sheila. You did a wonderful job telling me the truth. A good little girl like you deserves a gold star. Sheila smiled. This made Montana very cross. I'll get you, little girl. My name is Sheila. Oh. Well, one day I will... Sip it, Montana! Shouted Miss Carrie. Montana was now in animal detention. The rules were no talking, no animal noises, no eating, etc. Animal detention is like the animal shelter and prison put together. Man, Montana said to himself, I don't like this place at all. I wish I would take over the school and replace the students with cats so that we could talk about cats and nothing but cats. This gave Montana a naughty idea. He called every cat on his cell phone 
and he asked them to take over the school while everyone was on a one-hour lunch break at noontime. All the cats agreed. At around 12 o'clock p.m., everyone went to the cafeteria to eat some lunch. Except Montana. He had the key that unlocks the detention door, and he saw all the cats that Montana called from his cell phone. All right, cats, let's take over the school, he said. And off they went to the classroom in a flash. The class was under new cat management, and Montana was the new teacher. Hello, class. My name is Mr. Montana. All the cats said hello to Mr. Montana. Today we're going to be learning about cats, like we are. All the cats were very excited about this cat lesson. Montana taught all the cats about cats and nothing but cats, including the history of cats, cat counting, cat writing, cat geography, and cat math. And they didn't stop until the bell rang and lunch break was over. It was time for the children to go back to the classroom for more lessons. Then Montana heard something. <gasps> That's footsteps, gasped Montana. Miss Carrie and her students are coming back. Quick, all you cats hide. The cats tried to hide, but it was no good. And it was too late because when Miss Carrie opened the door for Sheila and her other classmates, they were shocked to see even more cats. A whole bunch of cats in my classroom? Miss Carrie screamed. Sheila and her classmates screamed too. What shall we do? Asked Sheila. I don't know. Right, Miss Carrie. Uh oh, said Montana. You! Shouted Miss Carrie crossly. You escaped attention and brought all these cats here. I have had enough, said a stern voice. It was the principal for the school office. What is going on here? Principal Rory, you're here, Miss Carey said. There are cats in my classroom. Please do something, complained Sheila. Okay, I will, said Principal Rory. Then she pointed to Montana and all the other cats. All of you cats have caused nothing but trouble. Well, I have had it. You're all here by... Hold it right there, said another voice. It was one of the animal shelter guards. Don't do anything to those cats, miss, because we finally found them, thanks to the visitors. And you're right, Miss Carey. Cats are certainly not allowed in this school. Well, Montana and all the other cats, it's back to the animal shelter for you. Let's go. Come on. Everyone waved goodbye to the animal shelter guards, and school was back in session for all human children, including Sheila and her classmates. Not a cat in sight. Montana and the other cats were back in their cages, locked up tight until they're actually adopted by the visitors. And this time, the guards remember to lock the door for maximum security. So, the cat's career of taking over the school came to an end. The story you just heard was imaginary and true. Cats cannot take over the school. In fact, cats are not allowed in school. Only humans can go to school. Principals, teachers, and students. Story dismissed.